Shana Tova. My students recently asked me a very deep question, which uh, we will touch on briefly, although it's a, like every other question in the realm of the Torah culture, is much deeper and wider than we can possibly address in these few minutes. The question was, considering our uh, uh, continuously developing concepts of physics and metaphysics, what is the significance of a certain period of time in which we are judged and called upon to repent? This, of course, is a big argument among our sages. There are sages who think that we are judged every moment, every day. And there is one opinion which became the prominent uh, approach in our culture, which is that we pass, a judgment is passed upon us in these days in the early fall. <clears throat> I think that the way this is to be understood has very much to do with climatic changes in the land of Israel at this time. Uh, somebody who lives in the southern hemisphere might have trouble connecting to this, but anybody who lives in this area of the world can understand why this time was set aside for the idea of judgment and repentance. And my thought is thus, that as the, the, we are in the final days of the summer and everything is very arid and dried up and it's very hot, and yet in the early morning we, we take a walk here on the Gibal Hills, we, we see a, uh, a mist, we can feel a, a cool wind with moisture in it, which, uh, which is, <coughs> is, uh, it, it gives us an impression of the winter to come with the, with the fruitful rains that bring, uh, bring this mountain back to life and make it green again. This, I think this is the background for the idea that this is a moment for contemplation. When the previous year's growth is now drying up, the year has passed, and we now have this very hopeful feeling of the rains to come. When a person lives in nature like this, like our, our sages did, and, uh, and the, the receivers of the Torah did, he understands that this is an appropriate time for contemplation about our lives. The year that has passed by and is gone, and the year to come. A time to think about what we do with our lives, and what parts of our life are best, best left, left into the past and what parts are, give us promise for a better future. I think this is the contemplation, is the essence of these days of awe, so to speak, when the, wind, the, the summer has almost passed and, the, and the, we feel the, the uh, great hope of fruitful winter rains. Shana Tova Lekula.